what's up what's up shank what up hey man yeah yeah i'm good just having fun yeah having fun doing what huh? <laughs> just playing sports badminton in particular oh fuck nice good yeah. good you brought that up because our today's episode is also related to sports why don't you yeah. tell the audience and the viewers like what's our topic first of all yeah so yeah we are going to talk about pele so today we haven't decided the title yet as of now but yeah we will talk about pele and the impact he had first of all uh, the football world and everyone who loves or watches football really misses pele so that is one thing and then the impact he had you know like no other player could have that impact or that charisma he had so yeah uh, rest in peace pele so yeah yeah i think instead of talking about pele and like the impact he had with respect to sports because that's not the kind of podcast we are we could mm-hmm. instead talk about like his marketing and his branding aspect right like how mm-hmm. he was used as a face of fifa and he face of football in general mm-hmm. back then and how he was a global icon and the global superstar to put it out there mm-hmm. and so we can talk about that aspect and like what branding strategy or like what marketing strategy was employed by this mm. uh by the community or by the federation uh, so that mm. they could they could even market the game right because mm. we, we see like so many sports and so many industries doing that like mm. nba for example mm. used um, was that mj back in 90s and before that to larry bird uh, magic Johnson and then like mm. LeBron after that and then so many other Steph and like in cricket Sachin Kapil Dev mm. and mm. so many others so he was the first global icon like for mm. football right and his death is saddening as well as it's also a good time to remember what impact he had as you mentioned so mm. what do you think like what do you think work Shashank so see uh, one thing as you mentioned uh, magic right like the nba so just mm-hmm. like his uh, name is, he is not really magic johnson he is actually ervin ervin johnson so but we all know him as magic right now so oh, that yeah. is the same thing with pele no one knows pele's real name it is edson arantes tao nasimoto so something like that okay it's a very long brazilian name imagine people had to spell this once every time he scores a goal and he scored so many he scored around 1000 goals and uh, uh trying to come up with that trying to you know even tell that name every single time that would have given people nightmares so yeah pele actually stuck with him from his childhood right so see uh this name stuck with him even before uh, he became this you know this phenomenon so oh. when he was a little kid yeah he was a, he used to play a goalkeeper and he was you know named after a goalkeeper called bele in his local neighborhood and as pele couldn't shout out the word bele so he started shouting as pele pele and yeah so that's that's how it started so he oh, was so known as pele short it's also a very yeah. short this name right easy yeah. to but easy to recollect and yeah. it's like it's like say apple when ibm yeah. was when, when apple came it's mm. so, the word apple itself is so much more easier to recollect yeah. it's more familiar same way it had that that gravitas you know like when yeah. when i shout pele i get i get that confidence yeah. that power it yeah. symbolizes that thing see without I, even try, yeah nike uh, pele all these two syllable words all this you know four four five letter words they they tend to have that power even you take sachin for example sachin might not be that powerful name but when you see that name tendulkar on the background or you have the word chant sachin and sachin people just get goosebumps so that name any short name has that kind of Kohli. you know impact and yeah koli yeah virat chiku you, you you see rohit and all these short names have that kind of power so yeah, yeah see uh, uh before that you know when before pele became a phenomenon so uh, this was something that actually pele didn't like that name pele actually very much so he later on told that in an interview but okay. yeah it stuck with them for now when even his jersey and everything says pele and yeah pele is that you know that one famous guy who always scored you know the guy who always delivered right and yeah. uh, speaking about commercialization aspect like even when he started out for the brazilian national team mm-hmm. he was just 17 yeah if if anyone had seen the movie uh, pele you, you would have known like what all struggles the national team had to face what all struggles pele had to face personally to get that to get to that position and scoring a hat trick couple of hat tricks in, in his first ever world cup and lifting it you know it's not a small feat you can't yeah. make this stuff up <laughs> right <laughs> See, uh, with all the brand with all the name and everything having that on their shoulders pele stood up to that expectation right so pele gave what the people wanted and people you know took pele for that 
like he was not just all about like say the name or like mark it's not just all mm. about you need to have like that yeah as uh, yes. people say like you need to have like you need to even walk the talk like you need to be able to like mm. do what uh, the thing showcase your uh, like how great you are only then people will respect you especially in sport yeah you can't yeah. just like you can't just uh, go uh, go ahead with marketing that mm. will, then you'll just be yeah. like, you know you won't be like the sports phenomenon as you would like to be as a person mm. be Right. exactly see i i'll give you an exact example for what you just say when you when you hear the word kobe you mm-hmm. did you you related to hard work you dedicated to the mamba mentality you dedicated to someone who never gave up till the very last second mm-hmm. see pele has the same branding but when it comes to you know this guy carnal mcgregor you know he's just a marketer yeah. more than a fighter there are better fighters than carnal he is not the best in the world yeah but, yeah. but when you talk about ufc is one of the first few names that pops up Yeah. because that's a level of branding and a good amount of skill that gets you but mm-hmm. even back in the days when pele was playing branding and all this marketing was not to that level pele was actually the first global superstar who made way for all this branding it so yeah right like the number 10 started being associated ah. to uh, pele yeah. as well because that's mm. how much of an impact he had with his game but also mm. the fact that he had as a person mm. that he like the number was associated to him they like they see 10 they like a pele and the yeah. also like they were able to remember him and like everywhere in the world mm. they they knew him right yeah. because mm. see uh, in sports take whatever sports you want a number is a very crucial aspect right now but back in the days it was nothing so back in this number was assigned basically just on uh, just on your name you know in alphabetic orders so mm. people don't didn't really pay you know uh, you know th- that much importance to the numbers but when pele started wearing that number 10 uh, uh, the name and the number became so uh, you know so important that number 10 became the number that any player in his uh, in his team where like if he's the best player in the team he would wear the number 10 so yeah. number 10 became uh, the best number in the team without even you know uh, they trying to make it the best best player in the world like see even take messi for now when you take football right now you see messi wearing number 10 we saw rooney wearing number 10 all the greats wear uh, wore number But 10 right like leap number 10 also like if we talk mm. about numbers take cr7 like you yeah. see that you know okay a cristiano mm. yeah you see 7 you, you know ronaldo yeah you see 7 yeah. you know dhoni You yeah. see, ten, you know, Sachin. See, yeah. that's that's about owning certain things. Yeah. See, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, when you take basketball, it's twenty-three. See, every number has its every sport has its special number, and twenty-three is owned by right now uh, Michael Jordan, James, and Co- uh, Kobe James, and right now this thing Draymond Green wears it. So yeah, it's, see, it's mostly full of famous players. You know, wearing that number. When you talk about thirteen basketball, you know, it's Steph Curry. Yeah. So that's the level of impact a person can have on certain number and. the first person like how steph ignited the three point revolution uh, pele started the number revolution like if you wear the number 10 the expectation is already a high yeah so before pele there was nothing like that you wanted to you wanted to watch uh, you know just play football but uh, after pele if someone is wearing number 10 on their back they already have they already have to be like two steps ahead of the entire team so that they can stand out mm-hmm. so that is the level of expectation number 10 carried and the word pele and all that pele did all this joga bonito all this jinga football all this everything it was something very magical yeah. see uh, one thing what the brazilian national team did was see basically they played their hearts out so that is one thing but uh, during that time they did a few few things they did something that no other team in the world has ever achieved or done so they invented a brand of football and they stuck with it even till date the last brazilian footballer even till date they play the same kind of football so uh, they invented that no not exactly invented they made that football uh, they made that style of football for themselves yeah right? they owned it right yeah, yeah they owned it see uh, right now we see a lot of the brands struggling you know uh, uh, even brands and players struggling you know to get a different vibe in marketing right they trend to break characters you you, you take about credit and rahul dravid you yeah. take this shopy ad and cr7 they tend to break character to make sure people uh, fall in love with them or believe them but pele yeah. did not did not need that you just sign the word pele in anything and that is more valuable than all this marketing everything combined mm-hmm. so yeah that's the level of impact he had yeah yeah so and also he was like uh, the thing right like i mean the way he was as a person like i'm just reading like this one particular thing where mm. like his uh, like he performed at the higher pressure moments also mm, yeah that showed that like he's like he's one of the best also right mm. like, it's, mm. it's not just like as we mentioned it's not just about 
say be uh, like having the this thing what do you call that uh, just about marketing like if your product is not strong it mm. won't do well as well mm. and he was also like this thing was that pelis actions on the pitch and like off it was also mm. massive like i mean mm. it's about like what he did off the pitch as well and the way he mm. was the things that he spoke as well added a lot of impact right because yeah. of which he was known as like a global icon not just because of sport but also as mm. his personality right mm. see pele actually owned football so no. before football became famous pele was the one who owned football yeah. and whatever uh, uh, you know this all this you know popularity name anything that football as a sport that has right now i think most of the things you know credited back to pele yeah so what pele did back then is the reason uh, why football is football right now so mm-hmm. without him that i don't think there is a chance like messi or ronaldo could have yeah they are great players of course there is no chance these players could have you know uh, become this kind of global phenomenon that uh, we could think about right so right now ronaldo is the highest ever paid athlete who so is earning 200 million per year highest mm-hmm. ever paid athlete i think mm-hmm. 200 million per year that, that's not a joke see mm-hmm. all the thing all these things started with pele and uh the amount of exhibition matches he played he didn't get tired for a single bit so you wanted him to play in italy spain brazil england wherever you call him he just went so he mm. just played so yeah uh, all the national team and everything uh, as you said like it brings that magic it brings that you know that that charisma it brings that say, the thing that you know uh, that wants people to shout their name out yeah so what do you think uh, like i mean creators and brands uh like let's talk about creators first what do you think creators mm. can learn from this like how did they build such a personal brand of course they can't be mm. yeah you would say go and play football or something <laughs> no, how, no, no. how how can they stand out from the crowd because he stood out from the crowd right mm. and like even brands also try to these days stand out from the crowd by doing something which is completely different from what they actually are mm. so what do you think the uh, like they can learn from pele and his his branding or his marketing strategies that he's done so basically own your shit that's basically what pele did own your shit you know see uh, pele knew he was great even before he uh, you know he even before he won the world cup so he knew he was great and yeah. even though see right now you see a lot of a lot of yeah. sorry believing in yourself right? yeah believing in yourself is one thing but uh, you know own your shit is basically you know if you have something that you're good at or something that you feel like that will stand up you have to own it right mm-hmm. see uh, uh, let's take myself as an example i i do this example is because it's easier for me to, to talk about me when uh, when i explain these things yeah. uh, when whenever someone asks me what do you do for a living i say brand consultant but most of the time they ask me okay explain brand consultant so i go and say when whenever i talk about social media i say i don't have social media and yet i do social media marketing for other clients yeah right so that is my selling point so i do tell these people that i hate social media i don't use them personally yet this is the way to promote your business yeah. right so this is my selling point yeah right so i'm owning my shit i know i don't like the platform but yeah see i'm not uh, if someone might think yeah you're sc- scamming your clients you don't know what you uh, what you're doing and yeah. but yeah i do have experts with me who are experts in every other platform for linkedin you have i have you for you know instagram and everything i have sarvesh and everything for each platform i have experts who can take care of whatever there is there see mm-hmm. ultimately as a, as a designer or a creator my job is to make sure whatever we are doing looks good yeah looks more as looks more you know presentable and appealable so that is that is the what the thing that matters to me see that is that is something that creators have to you know stick with it they have to make sure they are self satisfied with the co- content they are producing see mm-hmm. w- when you start feeding the algorithm when you start making content just for the people that's the day you die you as a creator you as a brand die mm-hmm. see whenever you are in the product industry sometimes you have to bend towards for the customers Yeah. sometimes you have to make changes to your product so that it fits the customers but see not exactly every product in the entire world bent towards the customers we know apple no one in the world wanted iphone no one in the world wanted a touch phone but they went ahead and did it uh, then came ford no one in the world wanted a, uh, wanted a car then came ford yeah. see most of the brands that b- break out most of the brands that cause of disruption in the industry they stick with their shit see you take tesla people were not ready for the electric cars and nothing they weren't ready for this but they stuck with tesla you take spacex see uh, i know there are a lot of private companies that are uh, that are doing way ahead of spacex in the 
uh, air space technology in the private air space uh, in the private space space areas but what spacex did was the amount of branding whenever you talk about you know going to mars whenever you talk about people colonizing space <laughs> the first company that yeah the first company that pops up to your head is spacex elon yeah. musk that is the level of branding and marketing that elon musk has done he is synonymous like, with that entire yeah, idea itself actually it's about like finding mm. your niche and become mm. and making sure that you are stuck to it so that people remember like say people yes go, like so these days like if people look at me they be like oh yeah bro your mark right uh, stuff yeah. like that like i mean that's how it should be like they should know you for mm. your like i mean like know you for your niche like say like yeah. finance with sharan so if hmm. they say that you you get that like who, who is yeah. he was in everything yeah what does he do in everything yeah see mm-hmm. it's basically you know uh, selecting somewhere or you know finding an area where you are good at where you like and you know making content or whatever that that is over it and you know build a brand around that so that's the best thing you can do right now being yourself because internet is full of p- fake people and with the rise of ai everything is going to be fake and generic but in a world uh, like this where you stay authentic and true to yourself and you know uh, yeah. show your human side that's what makes it you know more special so basically own your shit just like pele like i mean be yeah, just like pele and stick to your thing and like mm. and be and also i would say like i mean don't just don't just market and don't just make content for the f- sake of it like also like mm. be a high performer also right yeah. like whatever you're doing make sure that the mm. content is right you are delivering quality content mm. that'll also help you like what yeah. you, like although yeah. He, yeah he is one of the biggest footballers that is mm. why he is who he is that mm. is why yeah. and not just mm. because oh yeah he was very glamorous so he was very mm. uh extra making out out of the the sing football pitch there's so many people who are like that but yeah. what you do in the pitch matters a lot yeah too. so what you achieve in your field matters more than whatever showing off or marketing you do so yeah basically uh try to make sure you are the best at what you do so yeah, yeah. that's okay. the lesson you should take from this and yeah i think this is this is where we can sign off so this is shashank and rakshit from bruya market Uh, you can find us on Bruya Market on all socials, and Rakshit Ravi is available as Rakshit Ravi in the Northern on LinkedIn, and I am available at Sashankesan dot com. See you guys next week. Yo.